I used to be a house cleaner. This was many years ago and I did that for about 20 years. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why I started a cleaning business. First of all, I started a cleaning business to make money, to build relationships, to know my community, to support families, and to feel the satisfaction after my work, to be more active, to put money in my bank account and help my family, to have a more active lifestyle, to eat better, to drink more water, and to have a healthier sleep routine. And so those are the reasons why I started a cleaning business. I am not the type to sit at a desk for hours and hours and hours. When I edit these videos, I edit them standing up. I have one of those stand desks and I don't post consistently, but if I did, I probably would be sitting too much and it would actually make me feel depressed. I am considering one of those walking, they're like treadmills that you put underneath the standing desk so I can edit and walk at the same time. I've been kind of practicing with that, but it seems like I would just forget what that I'm walking and then I would fall. So I'm kind of a little concerned about that. But anyways, so why did I start my cleaning business? So some reasons you might think like, what do you mean by helping your community? When I had my cleaning business in the past, I got to know a lot more people and then I was able to see their houses, not judge their houses, not be that judgmental person, just go in and truly help these people. A lot of people don't know how to clean properly because they weren't taught. And this is a lot of people and a lot of childhoods. So people are trying to learn and they're going online trying to learn and do it themselves, which is awesome. But some people just can't figure it out and their houses are very dirty and it's it's really hard on their mental health. And I don't know if you saw, saw the show Hoarders. This is happening in a lot of houses. It's not just like OTV is bringing it out and this is rare. It's not rare. It It's happening a lot and people struggle to find that balance between having things cohesive in the house, organized, clean, this is really important for most people's mental health. Some people are okay with the chaos. And I, like there's people of all kinds, but a lot of people really struggle with this. So when I go into the house, I am trying to help them with that so that their mental health is better. I want them to walk into the space and feel like a breath of fresh air and like, wow, Oh, this feels nice that I can just do this or that in just a clean and cohesive space. And it brings me a lot of joy after I do this work. I see the problem, I fix the problem, and then I feel good about it. And then if my client feels good about it, it makes me feel even better. And then they refer other people and then I can help those people. So I really enjoy the cleaning business. At first, it was just really just to make money. I didn't come from much, so I have to figure it out on my own. And the cleaning business pays you a high return. Like I was making more money than a lot of my friends who went to four-year college and they were trying to figure it out on how to make ends meet too, just like me, but they have all of this debt. I'm not saying don't go to college or anything. I was just saying that I actually went to college too. I was doing college and my cleaning business and figuring it out. And it was full-time college. I took three courses at a time. Uh, and then my cleaning business, I had one house a day. That's all I could handle. 
And then when I wasn't in college anymore, I was doing two to three houses a day with help. And even though I was bringing in a lot of income, I also had a lot of expenses with employees and figuring it out that way, which I, I don't, I wouldn't do anymore. I, oh, the cleaning business with having employees is very stressful. So for me, I just want to clean one house a day, take care of one client by myself and that's it. That's all I want to do. I don't want to build my cleaning business to scale up and have all these employees and just have more stress. I don't, I got into this to not have stress. I got into this to alleviate stress, bringing more income for my family. But for me, the making more on the amount is not as important as my stress levels because you know what I mean like I am investing in myself by working for myself and I, it's only myself I'm a sole proprietor sole unit person business so I rely on myself I'm accountable for myself all these things and when you have employees in the mix sometimes they don't show up you have to clean these houses by yourself if they say they're late, you have to clean it by yourself on time or else you can lose a client. If you say you're gonna be there at 9 a.m., you need to be there at 8.45 and have all your gear ready to get in their house and start cleaning their house at 9 a.m. That's the expectation you should have, not only for your client, but for yourself. So accountability is number one if you are going to start a cleaning business. And you need to hold that so high that you will be there on time and you will get started with the work. That has to be your number one rule for yourself. These people, if they have mistrust in you because you're not showing up on time, they're not going to want you in their house looking at all their stuff, doing their stuff if you're not accountable. Accountability is huge so and I like that I liked that about the cleaning business because I want to be an accountable person I want to practice my accountability and just from being a stay-at-home mom with no job for so long I, I miss that I miss that just being accountable and saying what I'm going to do like being a person of my word for myself and then feeling that gratitude afterwards, like, yes, I did it. Like feeling like I accomplished something. I, I, I arrived on time, I did the project, and I, I worked, I did what I needed to do the best to my ability. And I made sure that the client was happy. And if anything else, um, you know, I, I guarantee my work. I get, and it's all up to me. It's not up to any other employee that I have that I have to train and then they do the work, but they don't do it with passion like I do it because it's my own business. It's me. <laughs> so that's the thing. If you're going to bring employees in, they're not going to care as much as you. You might find really, really good people, which I've worked with amazing people in the past. They are never as good as me but they're they're such a blessing and I want to hold on to them forever but they they go on their way you know everybody has a life to live we choose different careers we choose different things <clears throat> and that's the way it goes so just doing the turnover there's a lot of negatives to getting employees and people to work on board with you but then there's more positives like you get to meet amazing people, you train people. That's another thing is you get to practice the training of people that brings a lot of um, just gratitude into my life because I'm like, wow, I can really teach someone to do something and it feels good. I don't know if you're the teacher type, but I think I that's like in my astrology or something. I really like doing that. And 
so anyways, with all of that said, um, this is why I decided to start a cleaning business. And if you're interested in starting a cleaning business and you'd like to talk about it, I would be more than happy to talk about it. So go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel by tapping on the notification bell and you'll see my next video. All right, that's all for now. Peace.